the Priscilla's Shallows of Madagascar. Located on the cusp of a bustling trade route, it is the perfect place for an ambush. Here is our gang of pirates, the Raiders, going head to head with a gang of rival players, the Cutthroats. Victory goes to the team with the most loot at the end of the hunt. Knowing how to sail with the wind is a pirate's most precious skill. Use the winds to increase your speed or to position yourself for tactical advantage in battle. To reap the most rewards, it is best to split up, some going inland, others keeping to the open sea. Each warship has unique strengths. The frigate's hull is reinforced, its arsenal equipped with numerous culverin cannons. The Brigantine is devastating up close, with a battering ram designed to break any resistance. The Sloop of War kills from afar, with its crippling long-ranged mortars and precise long nine cannons. Sail! Flying hostile colors! All sail! Ride the wind! All hands on deck! Position fixed! Open fire! Nothing will save you now! Bridge for impact! Woo! Drown, you soggy nutmegs! Don't let bloodlust cloud your purpose. You're here for the loot, and so are your rivals. Speed, Mr. Mercy! Vamos con todo! Our gang of pirates is now taking aim at the frigate and it will take team coordination to take her down. Fuego! Hold tight, lads! That ship's badly damaged! They're killing! We can take that ship! With the enemy ship's broadside now vulnerable, our frigate rushes in to board her. No water! Blackened silver. Fancy snorting some fish, miss. <laughs> the pirate hunter defenses are so strong that the only option is escape. The brigantine is sacrificing herself to buy time for the frigate who carries the most loot. The frigate now needs to make its escape through the reefs. Captain, that's back for the reefs! Successful pirates know when to run, with their hulls full and the wind at their backs. Fortnite is filled with places to explore and loot to scavenge. Collect building and crafting materials while traveling across landscapes where no two are ever the same. You never know what you'll find, or where you'll find it. Make sure to go inside buildings. Searching can pay off. 
Everything you collect can be used to protect yourself or help the survivors out there who need you. For protection from the storm, you and your friends will need to build forts. Use a variety of building pieces to keep enemies at bay and make a strong defense. Edit mode lets you customize pieces to fit your needs. Make doors or windows, or get more creative. Stronger materials like stone or metal will give your fort more staying power. Being able to build on the fly lets you respond to threats quickly and adapt when you need to. You didn't make all this just to watch it get knocked down. Defend your fort the way you want. Build sniper towers if that's your style. Or use all of the powerful traps you've crafted to make a maze of death that'll do the dirty work for you. When monsters do take a bite out of your defenses, you can repair and reinforce them during the heat of battle. Keep an eye out for weak spots, because the enemy sees them too. Use your imagination. Build the ultimate fort and use it to withstand all the bad things the storm will throw at you. Of course, constructors are skilled at building forts, but they also provide valuable crowd control. Primed for combat, soldiers bring grenades, as well as the big guns and sometimes the biggest guns. Outlanders are the best at harvesting and have some unique tools at their disposal. All that and a mean right hook. Finally, there are ninjas. Great for melee and really into throwing stars. They're good for getting into and out of trouble quickly. Collect cards to get heroes with different skills. More heroes equals more abilities at your disposal. Get your friends together for a well-rounded team. Cooperation can make all the difference. The people need you. Rescue survivors and give them a home. Defend them with everything you've got. Don't seek shelter. Make it.
expanding the open world of Mordor to highlight some lesser-known regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor is a massive living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You crave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! We just got ambushed by the machine. He's cheated death and tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's from one of the seven orc tribes we've added to the Nemesis system. The machine will grind you to paste! I hate big sticks! Cool, finally! Instead of killing the machine, we're going to dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities alongside drakes, grogs, and other beasts during the fortress assault. There are millions of ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor. I add you to my ranks! I swear my allegiance! Before we charge headfirst into the assault, we should plan our attack. This overlord and his war chiefs bring poison spouts to the fight, but Bruce is bringing sappers with him to counter those defenses. We've selected our followers, and now we'll start the assault. My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word, which is a pain in the ass. But to hazard a guess, he said you're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. Look at them! Scurrying around, making themselves useful. That's what we like to see. The world of Sea of Thieves seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful though, there could be anything down there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking, that was a joke. Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance bonus. Every player's decisions and discoveries will be different. But however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Amazing workmanship. Ah, very nice. Of course, the trouble with treasure as a rule is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, not that way. That's it. Easy now. Don't stop, keep going. Almost there. Watch that next step, it's a doozy.
If you can regularly beat the odds and get chests back to your ship, you'll be able to turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. Ah, uh, Siwa, my home, the sacred oasis. I thought he was dead. Our Mejian, the last protector, our present ancestor. Siwa has not been the same. I hope you are here to read us of the Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. Better be careful here. Guide me, Senu. Betunamun. Die, Medunamun. Die, you bastard! I'm going to kill you for that! See what is mine! Uh, yeah, coming to PlayStation 4 now for the first time with Monster Hunter, there's all kinds of things we couldn't do before. One thing, for example, is we now have this very uh, open map. Uh, beforehand, in the recent titles, you've had little segmented areas. They, and they would load up. Yeah, you have loading transitions. Right. Now there's no loading screens. Totally tra um, seamless transition-free area. That's great. You can, so, you know, that's what we really do with the power available to us now. That is amazing. Hi. That is amazing. We've also got a really great sense of a living, breathing world with the power available because uh, the monsters all have this really intelligent AI and they all have their own kind of desires and interactions and as a hunter you're jumping into this world that's kind of going on around you and you can use their interactions and the way they work with and against each other to your advantage in the hunt as well. Mm. All right, sp speaking on that note, uh, you know, using the environment and whatnot, I noticed there was a stealth sequence and that's something that's never been in Monster Hunter before. So uh, is that going to be something that we can do throughout the entire game? Can we just sneak around before we uh, hunt monsters? PV の方にはステルス要素があったんですけど、はい、これはゲームを通してずっとステルス状態とか使えるんですかはい、あれはですね、あのー、ちょっとね、特殊なスキルみたいな感じになってまして、あれを身につけることによって、まあ、一定時間、あのー、ちょっとステルス状態になったりとか、逆に、えー、とモンスターが自分に向かっていくようなスーツ,スーツっていうのもありますので、モンスターをある一定のところにおびき寄せたいときとかでも使えるスーツとかもあります。はいもう一つのスーツは、ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。ガイドマンスターというものです。So we've right. got different op options available to you for the strategy in the hunt this time around. And, yes. and multiplayer is so important to Monster Hunter. I mean, how are you guys approaching multiplayer this time around? Multiplayer. 今までモンスターハンターにはなかった途中参加というのも可能になってますんで一人で遊んでる時も
<笑>他のメンバーが入ってきたりもできますしちょっと救難信号みたいなのも出すことができますんで自ら助けてくれみたいな信号も出すことができます。Of course, Monster Hunters、uh, previously had this four player multiplayer system, so you can、uh, meet up with your friends and go into your hub and then choose a quest and go out together. But for the first time, we've got a drop in multiplayer. So, say you're out on a quest and you're getting into trouble with the monster, you can shoot up an SOS flare, get your buddies to join in、wow. through the quest and get, to, get them to help you take him down.、So、and we saw that in the trailer. Yeah, too. yeah. That, that, is, that is so great.、Uh, but, but with that being said, are we still going to have our hunter lounges? Because I really like. Being able to meet my, my friends beforehand. So we're still going to be able to start and go straight in, correct? So we're still going to be able to start and go straight in, correct? So we're still going to be able to start and go straight in, correct? So we're still going to be able to start and go straight in, correct? They're ready when you are, Persephone. They are in the briefing room. Yes, ma'am. Hollywood, Fortune, and Hardtack are all. I know who I asked for Friday. Look here. See these three? They call themselves the Franchise Force. Good to know none of this is going to their heads. Hell yeah! Franchise Force is back in action! I gave us a nickname. You can't just give yourself a nickname. This is Hollywood, ostentatious showboater, reality TV star, and former adult film actor. When I need over the top and unnecessary spectacle, then Hollywood is my top pick. Just walked into the danger zone. Now, Sky Pirates are notorious for being selfish, untrustworthy, backstabbing thieves. But I'm willing to overlook certain peccadilloes if I still get results. And Fortune, with those pistols of hers and attitude to spare, gets me results. Plus, she makes good use of her drone glory. Go get him, Glory! I'm ready to dance when you are. The captain approves. And yes, there's Hardtack. Everybody loves him so. You want me to fuck it up, don't you? Don't you? He's big, he's loud, and nobody enjoys annihilating Legion more than he does. I almost worry about him. Almost. Yes, these agents require specific handling, and apparently I must account for an array of cost intensive preferences. But I recruited every one of them for a reason. Because I know the best weapon we have is unpredictability. Hold on to your booty. And my agents specialize in it. Come get some! I love kicking Legion ass! This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced and all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right, let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. It's a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. I'm not sure we want to use all our supplies on this guy. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. We're getting some fire from up ahead. I'll go low. You flank. Later with Kim. <laughs> yeah, he could use the XP. Hello, treasure. Oh, Shipper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? 
Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. Where's your master? I don't deal with domesticated. Hey, the fuck? I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy. Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Oh. Hey, Jim. Yo, 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 hand it over. I got a hot date who don't do late. <laughs> Monkey's got a date. Ah. What? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, pig. <laughs> bon appetito. Fucking cop in this fucking city <laughs> after that fucking bastard! Grab my chassis, Noxy! Some men together go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp deep. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Oh! Out of the way! Oh, hey, 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 man!
to him! Do it. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell else around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? What would you do if the world you knew was gone? All the comforts, the simple pleasures you took for granted. How would you protect yourself and the ones you love when the protectors can't even save themselves? Truck, get in. Choose a place to call home. How will you build it? Work together to defend it. From the terror. Just outside the walls. When you get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? When the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart, will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. There's some danger in there. There's something there. There's a, there's a clue we want to get to. Okay, okay. If we interact with it, we, we make a temporarily uh, connection with the boss. And in this time, we can see through his eyes, right? And try to narrow down his location. Yeah. And at the same time, obviously, we've got, you know, there's a bunch of other players all trying to do the same thing. They're yeah. Find these, are like mag yeah. yeah. Uh, these are like magnets for other players. Other players are searching for the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. So if you don't play carefully and watch out here and do some teamwork, you might be in shit. Oh, so this this is like the goal. Yeah. Ah, so th this is the first clue to the boss, right? Okay. So as you see now, oh. I, I'm going to make a connection. To the pit of hell. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously, I'm seeing into I'm seeing the target's eyes, right? 
We've actually had situations where players have done this, and we've seen other teams Fight, about fighting. To get oh, right. dude, I just figured out what that was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> it's God. It's an arachnid. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. might see him a little bit more later. And, uh, yeah. and, we don't and this to. is also like, so we're jumping a bit here, right? So we took the third clue here. Okay. And and, and in classic survival game scenario, right, you have already spent some ammo. You yep. want to go maybe to a supply point, right? Yep. But as always, the shit is uh, in the shitty spot. So it's, mm. again, high risk, high reward gameplay. Should I go there or not? Because people might snipe me as I go there, right? Right. So you're not just you're not just searching for for the beast, the monsters, and stuff uh, like that. You're gearing up you're to your advantage, right? Yeah, but you're defending against other players. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. For ca so uh, in this case, uh, I uh, send in my body first, right? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <that's what laughs> go get a meat shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the Brit goes in first. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is this you guys actually playing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's really so cool. so like, he can legit send you in, then yeah. he dies permadeath, you live and you keep all your stuff. Ah, uh, we yeah. have a reviving mechanic, right? So we really want to keep uh, you playing together here. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay. But if you revive, they lose uh, a health chunk. Mm. Okay. And if you revive again, then the value and shit, basically. Okay. He is, that is a super quick spider. Yeah. So uh, at this point now, we have killed him in order to get the bounty, we need to banish him to hell. Now I understand kind of like I'm getting more and more like you guys are bounty hunters. You want to yep, banish these absolutely. guys and you get paid. Exactly that. And when we do, there's a burning spot on the map opens up. Like every player in the whole map now sees where this is. This is why it's called Hunt Showdown. Bam, right? Everybody going to go there. Ah. Everybody going to duke it out. Dude, yeah. that's, 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 that's like actually wild. really cool. So the, the other interesting thing about that is, it's like I mentioned before, is that it's a legitimate strategy for other players to just ignore the clues, ignore the target, and hunt the other teams who are hunting the target. Yeah. You yeah. can stalk another series of yeah. hunters going out there. As you see in the left corner up there, there's like a little timer ticking, so everybody kind of have time to get there. Oh, okay. Uh, here I'm being, uh, I'm being uh, badly. <laughs> slapped. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> so here's where we have like the revive mechanic, right? Like okay. uh, I died. He can revive me, but I lose a health, uh, I lose a health chunk, right? Right. Okay. So basically, for us, since we got there first, this is a defensive mission at this point, right? Yeah. And all the threats we had coming in are now perfect for us because we will hear dogs barking if the players come in too close to them. So we can all again like listening to the environment and use it to your advantage, right? That's that's actually something I, I wanted to touch on as far as the sound design goes, like. Mm. I love it when you when you actually have to use your yeah. ears as a part of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So we call it like reckless players a dead player. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? It's complicated. Turns out Martin Lee is running the demons. The guy who runs the homeless shelter? Like I said, complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Please, let me got this. That helicopter is destroying the city. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? <clears throat> Working on it, Yuri. Whoa! Too close. This isn't you! 
You don't know me! Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete. You got this. You got this, you got this, you got this! Please don't screw this up! Mr. Lee? Montana, we have Hope County, which is kind of under siege by this fanatical cult. <laughs> And you as the hero are, uh, you know, um, joining the resistance to try and push back and liberate these people. Exactly. Yep. That's what we built. So as you kind of see this, you're, you're going to see Boomer for the first time. You find yourself in the world. You know that this cult has taken over the space. You're kind of trapped behind cult lines. And what you have to do is basically find people out in the world and build this resistance. And it can start with uh, Boomer the dog or any other person that you meet. I mean, you have to start with the dog. Of course. Is there any other option? Right. Man's best friend. Exactly. Well, we were actually in Montana, and we were uh, hunting, and there was, um, it was kind of the end of the day, and it was getting cold, and the guy that we were with was like, don't move. And we're like, okay. And we, we watched his dog for like 10 to 12 minutes, and finally, and the dog wasn't moving. At the end of it, the dog barked, and this bird went, and he goes, always trust your dog. And that's why the game's in the, that's why the dog's in the game. Nice. Yeah. The origin story of Boomer there you go. on That's PlayStation Boomer. Underground. Yep. You, you got more than you asked for, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so t tell me a little bit about this setting, because we are about to try and liberate yeah. a section of Hope So County. this is a small community, Falls End. And what you basically got here is that the cultists come in and they've begun this thing called the Reaping, where what they believe is that the end of the world is coming, and that what they need to do is save as many souls as they can whether they want to be saved or not. So they come in, they take over the town, they begin to take people, they kill some people. And what you have to do is basically liberate that town and take it back. And when you do, it begins to open up other parts of the world and you can meet different characters and, and you begin to discover the open world through these communities. And I think you guys want to, well, we want to use Boomer, obviously, but also uh, the our, our friend playing here is going to take a slightly more... Uh, long-range approach exactly. at the beginning of this right. playthrough. And that's one of the principles of Far Cry, right, is that you can play however you want to play, and there's a lot of 360 degrees, right? I mean, we learned that on some of the games that we built in the past of building a game and building an environment where you can attack it any way you want. And then Boomer's going to step in. Now reinforcements have showed up. So now you've got to think about, all right, how do I spin that plate a little differently? How do I get it so all those guys that showed up in that cult vehicle, maybe you can send Boomer in and basically try and take some of those guys out. If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay. Maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Except for all the smoke. Yeah. We can't see. Go, go, Boomer! Take him down. Good nice. old reliable Boomer. Yep. It seems like if you name your dog Boomer, you're kind of setting the animal up for a certain type of life. Exactly. Right? Yep. A life of action yep. and mayhem. Cool. I said. Which I would not wish upon any real animal. Right. I just want to put that yep. on the record. So there you go. Liberated. Yep. Basically so took simple. over the town. Yeah, it was super cool. Just because we had Boomer, though. Anyone exactly. else, I don't know if it would have gone as smoothly. Well, Boomer's super cool. I mean, we really wanted to be able to make it so that we had that experience that we had in Montana of you have a dog, it's your pet, you trust it, and it's a weapon. It's super cool.